Hey folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer, and something big is going by. Stony Ridge. From Stony Ridge. Stony Ridge Farm. What we're doing today is setting up another farm building. We'll go into detail, we'll go inside the building, we'll talk about why we chose the building we chose, and we'll show you how they set it up. They're gonna set it up right here in this area where there'll be a little bit of shade, but not a whole lot of limbs leaning over toward the building. So come along today. If we're gonna have some fun, check out this new building, all right? We chose a 12 by 20 building, a Dutch barn style building, because it has a whole lot of headroom in it and a lot of room for storage. This building will be used for the things that we don't use very much here on the farm. In other words, we don't use our honey extracting equipment but once or twice a year, so the best thing to do is get it out of the garage and into a place where we can only access it once or twice a year when we need to, so it's not in the way. So these guys are gonna get this building set up. It's on a bit of a grade, and I don't know if you can tell, but it drops off about 20 feet down this hill right here, and they're gonna set it up on this grade. They're gonna have to dig down, set concrete blocks, set it on the blocks, level it, and then strap it down, and we'll show you all that stuff. So you may have seen these trailers that go down the road deliver buildings. Pretty interesting trailer setup. It dumps and slides the building right off of there. Now, there are no special permits required to haul these buildings as long as they're below, I think, 16 feet wide. If they're 16 feet or wider, then they have to have a special permit to move it. Okay. Pretty cool, kind of like a mobile home. This right here would make an awesome little farm stay cabin, but we need the storage. So right now, what they're doing is backing it in here and getting it where it needs to be set up. And we bought this building at House of Stars in Madison, North Carolina. So if you're a local person, I've dealt with House of Stars several times. They do a very good job. Make sure you're happy and give you a good price on a building. You can see the trailer is rolling backwards here while the truck is still stationary. And we'll dump this dude back. And then it's attached with a winch and it slides right off. Man, it's really impressive. They wouldn't let me go inside the building while they were unloading it because I kind of wanted to see what it felt like to flip upside down in a house. <laughs> Anyhow, pretty cool. It's impressive how they get this thing on and off the trailer. We'll get you a lot of cool footage of that. So guys, here's our corn garden. That's our chicken processing equipment right there. And this is our tobacco barn. And right here is where we're gonna put this building. The reason we got a Dutch barn type building and a building of this size is because we need the size, but we wanna be able to move this building if we ever decide to. So the good thing about this versus a permanent structure, like what we have right over here, is that this building can be moved at any time from now on, as long as the flooring isn't rotten in it, and we're gonna have it on a slope, a downhill slope, and we really have to think about water. So we didn't wanna put it over a dip because we don't want water to pool up underneath this. We want water to flow out from it, away from it, and keep water away, because moisture is the enemy of anything on the farm. You're sliding right off the trailer here. So what these guys will do is set a block down and they'll get a bite on this and they'll lift it and shift it and lift it and shift it until they get it in the position where their grumpy farmer guy wants it. All right, we got a problem. The building is leaning very, very harshly that way. So we're gonna almost fell in a hole <laughs> again. <laughs> so he's gonna zip out and around and hopefully not spin up the field. And we're gonna lift up the other side. You get a better view of what's going on here from the back side. So this thing is very, very, very off level and off center right now. And it'll be probably 18 inches high in the back and probably four inches or six inches high in the front. So you can see this right here. He's backing on up here and the apparatus on the front basically slides back and forth or the apparatus on the rear of this trailer slides back and forth. They're gonna lift it up and pull it back up the hill because when they set it, it started sliding down the hill. It's really wet this morning and this is really steep. Good. 
So this gentleman here has a remote control in his hand that's remotely controlling this whole trailer setup. Really, really interesting. Who says video games aren't useful? You can push buttons nowadays, you can do anything. Guys, I can't tell you how awesome these folks are. Just the salt of the earth. Great, great people. I'm really enjoying having a conversation with them. I love where I live here in North Carolina. It's just a wonderful place. So the building is set in the place where it's gonna go. And in my hand is the anchor system. So this is the anchor. It's called a rock anchor. That's the anchor that goes in the ground. And there's a little strap here on the top. Basically, that's what they attach to and anchor this thing down so it doesn't blow over in high winds or anything like that. So they gotta get it all leveled up. They'll put some more blocks on this side and we'll get it all rocking. So he cuts down in the ground here, slides a block in, gets it level and then we'll level the rest of it. There are wedges here that we'll drive in to make sure everything's level and this building is sitting on a pretty steep gradient and it will be nice and level by the time they get done. So we're back here on the back side. This is the low side of the building and he has a high lift jack and the jack is gonna be used to raise the building up to level and then they'll slide blocks in it and then they'll slide wedges in there and make sure everything's nice and level. I can't wait to take you inside this building. And that is a pillar, not a block. Jane Fonda, eat your heart out. That's a woman right there. So the skeleton structure of this building is 16 foot on center, and inside there you have three quarter inch floorboards, and we'll walk in and talk about those floorboards. They have a lifetime warranty. They are water resistant, mold resistant, water repellent. Really, really awesome product. Some new engineered type boards. So everything inside this building is 16 on center, just like a regular home. Some sheds are like 24 on center, the cheaper built sheds. This is nice, and this is a lifetime warranty Advantech floor. It's supposed to be the best you can get. So what they're doing right now is getting the outer band, quote unquote, the band on the outside completely level, and then they'll get up underneath it and make sure it's level and stable all the way around, okay? So they'll support it in several places underneath and all the way around this thing. We'll probably spare you watching them level this building because it's not very exciting. But when we get done, we'll take you around and we'll show you what they've done. All right, the building's all set up. It's complete. We'll take you underneath the building. We'll show you how the pillars work and we'll take you inside the building. So first, let's go underneath and I'll show you how often they space the pillars and the system that they use for attaching it to the ground, basically to keep a large wind gust from coming in and tipping this thing off of its uh, foundation pier. So let's get underneath real quick and then we'll go inside the building and then I'll talk to you a little bit about why we chose this building okay so we're down here on the lower side of the building and instead of just one stack piers on this far corner they did a double stack pier because it'll give it a little more stability if you look up under here you can see the support bracing up underneath there so they put one more right smack dab in the center and that's pretty much it so here's the anchoring system basically what he told me he did is he tightened up this cable as tight as he could get it and they run up underneath these floor supports and then he drove it in the ground. So it's tight as a tick. It's squeezing into the wood right here. So very good job. And we have one of those on this end and then one over on that end. To have it anchored cost us 195 extra bucks, but for the peace of mind, if we had a large windstorm, I think it's well worth it. Let's go inside the building. So it's a barn door type construction. Our two by fours are 16 on center. We have two lofts. We got a loft over here. And then we have a loft over here. Lots of storage, lots of headroom. That is eight feet high. So it's eight and a half feet high to that beam. So I'm gonna say the ceiling in here is somewhere in the neighborhood of nine feet high. Now, the reason we chose this is because we're gonna be using a lot of totes and a lot of racks in here. So we're gonna put stuff in totes and stack it up high all the way to the ceiling. And that way we can utilize the most space possible. So a 12 by 20 building here, this 12 by 20, cost us out the door under 5,000 bucks, which totally, totally can't complain about that. This building is lockable. It has two windows so we can get some daylight in there. Got a roof on it that'll last forever. 
And I think we made a good decision. So we didn't go with the shorter type building because we just didn't want it. We didn't want a short building. We want to be able to stack stuff in there high. This is a storage building, so we want maximum storage per square foot. So we'll be moving all of our beekeeping equipment and all of our chicken equipment into this building. We're going to call it the Honey Shack. So pretty awesome, guys. Thanks a lot for joining me here on the farm vlog today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the thought process and learned a little bit about how these buildings are set up. And if you decide to get your own, just know they can set it up anywhere you want it, anywhere. Slope, doesn't matter. Hillside, doesn't matter. In the woods, doesn't matter. They have a little thing called a mule that they can move this thing around and get it into really tight spots. We'll have a lot more space in the shop now for wintertime projects for you guys to come and have some fun. So don't forget, pound that like button, subscribe to the channel, come on back and see us here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Got lots of stuff going on. And it's no coincidence that the truck matches the building. I like it. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you soon. Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. They even went the extra mile. There ain't many women on this planet that could work a jack like that. That doesn't sound right, does it? No, it doesn't.